separating the wheats from the tares. Separating the wheats from the tares. Um, some people don't know what that is. Um, some people do. If you read your Bible in the book of Matthew, you would know that um, Satan has his own children. The Most High has his own children. Um, it seems like, well, I ain't gonna say it seems like, but I'm just gonna say this boldly. Uh, Satan has more influence than the Most High in this world. He does. Because it seems like everybody wants to live for Satan, but you rarely see too many people living for the Most High. If, I mean, I mean, like, if, if any, you know, I mean, like, you, you going in a lot of these areas, y'all, you go on the internet, you go out here, you, you see all these people, man, they, they just so wicked. It's getting more and more and more wicked as the days go by. More and more wicked. How many, uh, people really, how many people do you know? How many people do you know in your family, your friends, people, co-workers, all these other people? How many people do you know that's really living for the most high? How many? How many people out here in this world is, um, you know, got all this, all these cars and these houses and stuff. And they say that they, they, uh, God is blessing them. What God? Which God are you talking about? A lot of them really think that the most high is blessing them. From what they're doing in their life. A lot of these wicked people think that. So I'm just going to talk about this. Separating the wheats from the tares. And I'm going to break it down for you. If you don't you really know what that is. So what's up YouTube. It's your boy Spiritual J. Coming back at you again with another video. I pray everybody's doing well. Y'all staying safe out here. Praising and worshiping the Most High. Yah. Uh, Yahshua. Jesus the Christ. Praising and worshiping him. Every day and all day. So let's just jump right into this. Um. So, you got the wheats and the tares separating the wheats from the tares. Okay? Now, the wheats are righteous. The tares are the wicked. But see, we live, we living together. All of us, we 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 are living together. We are living with Satan's seed. We are living with the devil's children. That's why you have to be careful who you looking at on a daily basis. You think that just because you see a beautiful face or a handsome face that that person is uh so so attractive, they so fine, they so they so sexy, they so this, they so that, um. They, you know, they blind. Y'all, y'all blinded. Y'all blinded to the truth. Y'all blinded to Satan's people. Satan's children. You probably sleeping with Satan's child right now. You may be Satan's child. Uh, who who want to hear that? Because a, a, a quarter said everybody to a lot, almost everybody in this world, they going to heaven when they die. That's what majority of these people think. These people feel like they're going to heaven when they die. But here's the thing about it. They feel like they're going to heaven. Uh oh. They feel like they it's a lot of people that's on YouTube right now that got so called ministries on YouTube. And I'm not I'm and I'm not saying this because I think I'm better than anybody. No, I'm not. I'm man, I'm far from perfect. And you are too, if you would if you would just admit it. And start trying to think that you on this this high pedestal looking down on people because you making you making a certain amount of money because you driving a, a little fancy car because you living in a in a eight bedroom house when it just it's just you and your you and your partner and no kids in there you know but we are living with Satan's children stop seeing. I'm just going to, you know, just do my little, you know, just before I get into the scripture. Okay. So. When you see, that's why it's so many. It's so many. 
single mothers. It's so many people that's heartbroken. It's so many people that's in jail, prison right now. So many people right now that's, you know, doing wickedness, that's doing these OnlyFans, porn stars, strippers, all of them. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you at all. The most high know I'm not judging. I'm just I'm just making a point. I'm just breaking this down for you. I'm not judging you, but you know, you you don't see too many. That's why when somebody's speaking like this, somebody else gonna say, Oh, you judging. Don't judge me. Who are you to judge me? They say that because they never heard something like this. They never heard people speak speak boldly. They never heard somebody. Well, let, well, let me just say it like this. They don't they don't hear anybody preaching the word. They only got to go to a church building to hear to hear somebody preaching the word. And a lot of these pastors in these church buildings are only doing it for money. And just to be seen. Seen in a pulpit. Not all pastors, though. Not all pastors are like that. Not at all. I know some good pastors. And I know some ones that's, that's doing it for the money. Only doing it because they felt like they was called. They felt like they, that the Most High called them to do that. See, y'all think that everybody here is children of God, of the Most High, that he created everybody on this earth. A lot of people believe that, and some people don't believe that. You know, I believe that Satan has his own children from his bloodline, the demonic bloodline. That's why you see some of these people, some of these people, you can... You can you can minister to them, and I could be wrong about Satan seeing and stuff, but you can minister to some of these people all you want. You can waste as much breath as you want to some of these people. To uh, Man, let me stop saying some. Let me stop saying some. Let me just say a lot of these people, majority of the people in the world. You can minister as much as you want to them, but... If they if, if they so stuck in their ways, if they are Satan's children, if they come from that bloodline, uh oh, if they come from that bloodline, they're not gonna they they're not gonna hear that. They they don't wanna hear that. They're gonna look at you like, man, what is you talking about, man? Like, man, I'm getting this money. Man, I'm I'm living, man. I'm I'm happy in my life. I'm satisfied. I'm I'm I have joy in my life. No, you don't. Cause let, let me just say like this, you don't have, you don't really have joy. A lot of these people don't really have joy. Why? Because you, you take that check from them. What's going to happen? Oh, I was just saying this, uh, what was it, like two nights ago? If you was, if, if this world was to take away, if the most high was to, was to, you know, you know, do his, use his power because there's nobody that that's more powerful than the most high. All right. If he was to make it for. Only fans to leave, porns, uh, pornography to to leave, stripping, all the strip clubs to shut down and stuff. What's gonna happen to majority of? This? Oh, and let me just say this: if it was to for everybody that's doing fraud and scamming in this world right now, if it was to make it for a lot of these, for everybody who's doing that to get caught, this would be a, a messed up world. Oh well, let. let Oh, let me let me correct myself again. I got I got to keep correcting myself. This world already messed up. It's going to get worse. It would get even more worse. The the death rate will be it's, it's already sky high, but it would it would just be shoot penitentiary, the prison, the jail. It's already over capacity. It, but it's going to be it would be even more in there because if you take all that stuff away, it's going to be robbing it's going to be murdering. More of it is already happening. It's going to be way more of it. It's going to be, you know, that's why when you look, see me, me coming up, you know, in high school and middle school and stuff, you know, I seen young people, you, you know, who was in school working at McDonald's, working at dollar stores, you know, working at, uh, you know, sweeping, sweeping the floors at barbershops and stuff, uh, you know, working at all these little restaurants and stuff. That's how they was making their money. 
even while they was in school, you know. But nowadays, you don't see it. You don't see it. You don't see these young these young kids. Um, you don't see these these young kids working at these places no more. Why? Because majority of them have only fans. Majority of them are are uh selling weed. Majority of them they are what is it? They are only fans stripping porn. You know, they got all this stuff is going on. That's why you don't see these young people working no more. You see all, a lot of these young kids out here, they they in middle school, um, not middle school. They they in high school, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and they out here buying buying bins, buying freaking Mercedes. I forgot the name of it for a second. Mercedes, uh, what else they be driving? Uh... I see some young dudes out here with with Lamborghini trucks. I see some dudes out here with um and what else do they be driving? Hellcats. Man, it's it's dudes at 16, 17 with these. They, they they how do they have it? They scamming. Don't get it messed up. You see all these people out here who's doing this. You see all these people out here who are um, who are um, what all this jewelry on, this drip, this all this? Don't get it fooled. These these dudes are are out here scamming and robbing. They're not working. They're not. They they don't have. They don't come from a family with, with money. No, nah, they robbing and scamming and fraudulent stuff. That's what they doing. These girls out here with all this money and stuff, they stripping. They selling their bodies. They got OnlyFans. They got all that stuff. This one girl I see on the internet. Now, once again, you know, I'm talking about the weeks and the tears, all right? I'm talking about the weeks and the tears, but I'm 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 focusing on the tears right now. I'm focusing on the wicked ones right now. Satan's children. Let me let me paint the picture, you know. I seen this girl on the internet the other day. She gonna say, she gonna on her, she has a TikTok. Let's say like this: she has a TikTok, but she goes on Instagram and showing her body, basically naked on on the on the internet and stuff. But she gonna she gonna say on the internet, going go try to lecture to little, to younger girls that's that's younger than her. Gonna say if you want to get into stripping, this is all you gotta do. If you want to do it, you gotta do this. You gotta do that. Encouraging these young girls to go out there and do what she do. Uh oh, she now she already in the wrong. Um, she gonna say, well, she gonna like make a little rhyme, try to joke with it, talking about the reason that she stripped is because if you was broke, you'll be out here stripping too. See, let me just say this: I disagree with her. Just because you broke, don't mean that you gotta go out here and strip and show your body to get money. See, the, the problem that I see today is now this world tries to make it to to the point where working a nine to five is it's just so it's just so bad. It's so bad to work a nine to five. Now, I get it. A lot of people are, is not here to work a nine to five. A lot of people are here to, you know, use their gifts and stuff and, you know, create something, open businesses and stuff, but they make it to the point where nine to five is just so bad. See, my thing is you got, you got people out here who, who are working nine to fives and stuff, and they got more joy than, than, than a lot of rich people. Uh Oh, Oh, these people that's working these nine to fives and stuff. A lot of these people, they have so much joy and then when you go online and you see these rich people, these these nine to fives, these, these these people who work nine to fives, they have more joy than the than the ones who are millionaires, billionaires. You go online and you look at these millionaires and billionaires, they out here fighting with with demons. They fighting with demons so bad, they can't sleep at night. 
they can't they can't do this. They they can't even smile without without uh using a drug. They out here committing suicide. They out here doing that. But you, but you you wanna know what's the problem with what that is? Those people who are battling with this stuff, battling with these demons and stuff. Those rich people, millionaires, billionaires, majority of those people never worked a nine to five a day in their life. They never worked a nine to five a day in their life. Because let me tell you this. These those people. They don't know what it feels like to work a nine to five. So. That's why majority of them are not grateful. They're not satisfied. They're not happy with, with their life. Even when they're millionaires and billionaires, they're still not satisfied. Because they don't know the struggle. They don't know what it feels like to have to work a nine to five. So if they if they actually experienced working a nine to five, they would be more grateful for what they have right now. They would be so grateful. But a lot of them never worked it. So they don't know what it feels like. You know? And so majority of these of these celebrities are wicked. Now let's look at this. Um so the wheats and the tears. In that harvest time, the most high is gonna do the separating. Okay? At harvest time, the most high is gonna do the separating. Wheats and tares look alike. Okay, they look alike. Now, the Most High, he was using a lot of parables in the Bible. Metaphors, nouns, you know. He used a lot of parables in the Bible. But see, harvest time, working in the field. The field, okay? Now, when the Most High was preaching to the uh, to the multitude, you know he when you know Jesus in the Bible he walked he walked around with a with a multitude and the multitude is you know with like like a group of people and stuff and so it came a, it came a point in time when in Matthew chapter thirteen verses uh, thirty seven he he told the uh, people he told the multitude to uh, go home I'm mean, to to go like basically go away because he about to go home he he about to go in the house and stuff so. When he went in the house, it said that he went in the house. And then one of his disciples came up to him and asked him, can he, you know, can he explain more, elaborate more on what does, what does the feel mean? Like, what is, what is, like, what are tares? Okay. And he told him and he replied to them and said, the tares are the wicked ones, are the evil ones. The wheats are the righteous okay the field all right now chapter now matthew chapter 13 verses 38 he said that he says that the field is the world okay now once again like i just said the wheats are the righteous the tares is the wicked and you know wheats and tares they're on the field that's the harvest harvest time is what judgment day he's going to do the separating so all you tares all you wicked ones you you gonna have your part in the lake of fire, and the wheat, the righteous, they are gonna have their part in eternal life. Okay. And so he said that the field is the world. Now, once again, we know that lovers of the world, if you if you if you love the world, love of the Father is not in you. If you love this world, you don't love the Father. I'm just going to tell you like this because and because if you read your Bible, the father goes against this world. This world system, this wicked demonic world system. Denying ourselves. You can't if if you if you live for this world, if you if you love this world, friendship of the world means means on um, means enmity to, to the most high means uh basically if you love this world, if you are friendship of this world, you are an uh, enemy to the most high. That's basically what, what they're saying. And when you look at it, he said the field is the world. We are, y'all, this is the field, the world. But 
the righteous and the wicked, we live together. We are living together. You know? Okay, and he said that he says that the field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares, all right? But the tares are the children of the wicked one. Who's who's the wicked one? I mean, we should all know that because a lot of some some of y'all might be still living on form Satan. Satan. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. And then verse 39 says that the enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. Okay? Now, once again, he said the har at, at harvest time, he's going to do the separating. All right? And the reapers are the angels. Now, and then verse 40 said, As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. So basically, that's that scripture right there. I'm, I forgot what scripture it was, but that's that scripture where he says that he's gonna that the Most High is gonna burn this world. He's not gonna flood it. He's not he's not gonna flood it again. That's what the rainbow is for. The rainbow is the covenant. The rainbow is the covenant to us that he is not gonna gonna flood the world again. No no homosexuals. The the rainbow is not for y'all. The rainbow is not for y'all. The rainbow is not for y'all to, to take it and draw it on your face, put it in your bio, because you, you want to use that to, to symbolize homosexuality. Lesbians and transgenders and all them. Though, that is Satan's children. That's the devil's children. Those are the tears. The homosexuals, lesbians, transgenders, anybody who living for Satan, anybody who's still in their wicked ways, doing all this, all this wicked, crazy stuff, ain't living for God. You are, you are the tares. You are the tares, and you are on your way to the lake of fire if you don't repent and get out of what you're doing. If you don't repent, cause y'all, if you look around, time is ticking. And guess what? Time is ticking fast. Time is ticking really fast. But a lot of people ain't going to get it. A lot of people not going to get it. A lot of people are blind. Blind and dumb. That's in the Bible too. Uh oh. In the book of Matthew, he said blind and dumb. Uh oh. But people don't want to hear that. Uh, you, you you got this one gay this this one gay dude who said that he a pastor. He called himself a pastor. Okay. Um, I disagree. Uh, he gonna say he said that the Most High. He's he trying to make it seem like Jesus was was gay. And then he gonna say that Jesus was racist. That's what he said. I forgot what his name is. But he uh, he lives in in a uh, DC. DC is like thirty minutes from me. Um, I I drive all the out DC and 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 uh cuss cuss him the hell out in front of all his little um um gay buddies. I do it too, and he gonna say that Jesus was racist because Jesus called a girl a uh, um dog, called called this woman a dog. So he he said that Jesus is, is racist for that. When he said that beware of dogs, dogs are, are people of what? What is what does dog symbolize in the Bible? Wicked people, wicked ones. Wicked. And that's basically what he is. He wicked. Sorry to say, but he wicked. And that's what I'm saying, y'all. You ever a lot of people say that they from they from from the hood. A lot of people say that that they from the hood. They from the streets and stuff. That's what they say. So if you really from the streets and stuff, would you say that? Um, have you ever heard somebody say that you're not in the field? Some of y'all probably heard this before. Who said that, man? You you're not really in the field, bro. Like like man, you ain't you ain't uh, you're not you're not in the field, man. Like, come on now. He not, he not in the field with us. You ever heard people say that? 
You ever heard the gang members say that? The gangs and stuff say that? You ever heard on like the TV or something? What you think that, that, that they really talking about? You not in the field. But think about that. At harvest time, he's going to do the separating from the wheats and the tares. The wheats and the tares. Okay? He said the field is the world. So these gangs and stuff, they want you to join them. They like if you if you really from the hood and stuff, like people say they are, you would you would know what I'm talking about. And you would see that all of them was like you ain't in the field and stuff. Like basically what they saying is that, man, you ain't part of us. You you basically not you're not a tear, man. You you ain't one of us. You're not in the field with us. You're not you're not you're not worldly. You damn right you damn right I'm not worldly. I'm not. I'm not in the field with y'all. Hey, if if that's what y'all call being in the field, and like I told them, like like I told them back when I was uh younger and stuff in school, I told myself I'm not with y'all. I'm not in no game. Yeah, I probably was smoking with them and going going to parties with them. I probably was doing doing a lot of um uh well like just a little couple other stuff with them. But I wasn't. I wasn't part of no game. So you 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 right. I'm not in the field with y'all. Was I worldly? Yeah. But I wasn't in no game. But you I don't know if y'all ever heard that before, but that's where they get it from. You're not in the field. You're not in the field. That's what that's where they get it from. The field is the world. But people are blind and deaf. They don't see what's going on. They don't want to see what's going on. Let's put it like this. A lot of people don't want to see what's going on. So you can waste your breath with a lot of people, but they don't want to hear what's going on. Just like the just like the Bible say, if they don't receive you, shake the dust off your feet and keep moving. Keep moving. You can't st stop trying to... And this is why I, I got to tell to myself. Stop trying to... Reach somebody who don't want to receive you. And then you keep going back to them and back to them and back to them. And they just don't want to receive you. Be done with them. Be done. Go on about your business. I I even leave some of these church people alone. I leave some of these people on the internet, on the on the uh on uh YouTube alone. You know, I had to block some, some of my um, some of the people who who be who be on um, watching my my channel, because they feel like, they feel like just because they come into some knowledge and some truth that they could try to tell me that what I'm doing is wrong. Oh, you wearing a hat? You got earrings and or you you got this and see those type of people get away from me, get away from my channel, get away from from anything that I'm doing because. If you don't like it, get off my channel. Okay? And, and and there's so many of these people who say that they are children of God, but every time you turn around and see them, they always trying to argue with somebody. They always trying to they always talking about somebody. They always gossiping. They always doing that. Just because you just because the the most high woke you up, he you know, he 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 delivered you from your sins and stuff, saved you and stuff. Does not does not mean that you are better than, than anybody else. I don't think I'm I'm better than anybody else. But a lot of people that I see on YouTube and stuff, they think that they are better than everybody else. Just because you can you you know the truth now and you want to keep posting stuff on your Facebook, posting stuff on your YouTube, you want to keep posting all this stuff that happened back in that time, all this who the who the Pope really is and stuff. Man, come on, man. Everybody knows that the that the Pope is wicked. You don't got to keep posting stuff talking about, oh, we are real children of God. We are real this. And most of the time, most of y'all are not real children of God. So so stop the cat. So stop the cat. So that's all I had to say, y'all. We are living with Satan's children. We are living with the devil's children. A lot of these people are wicked and they are on their way to the lake of fire. They have reprobated minds. They are on their way there. So when you see all these wicked people out here doing all this crazy stuff, don't be surprised. They're wicked. 
Go on about your business. They're wicked. You go on the internet, you see all this stuff. Go on about your business. So that's all I have to say, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love all of y'all. Thank y'all for the support. Uh, make sure that you share this video with somebody who really needs to see it, who really wants to, who really needs to wake up um, before it's too late because time is ticking. Time is ticking, y'all, and, and it's ticking really, really fast. It's, it seems like it's, it's getting faster and faster as the days go by, too. But um, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.